The Beam and G Monster Jam Series makes an international stop here in the Green Division as these 15 drivers head to Sydney, Australia for the first ever event outside of the United States. Two Australian drivers, Zach Vitor Sr. and Noah Clifton, will compete for glory, but 13 hours left to stop them next in Sydney. It's about that time, so put it up, let's get it on. Made it this far, time to show the world was number one. Number one, pull it up to the line, let's do it. Let's do it. Anything in my way, I'm running through. I'm running through. I watch the lights and my hands are sweaty. I hear the people screaming, so you better get ready. Yeah. Cause when it drops, I'ma take the shot. Rock the spot, make it hot. Cause it's about that time. It's about that, it's about that. It's been a long time. Uh, it's about that time. It's about that, cause it's about that. It's been a long time. For the first ever time, the BMNG Monster Jam Series heads international as we're here in Sydney, Australia for the Green Division event in week number two. I'm Joe Rakowski, along to me, Trey Bardon. Trey, this might be the biggest event of the regular season across any three divisions as it's the first time we head outside the United States for an event and these 15 drivers are amped up along with the fans in the stands here in Sydney. Joe, I'm, I'm just impressed that we got here on time. I don't know how we did that. Uh, you know, we, we, we have those super fast jets. <laughs> they guys are pretty fast. And uh, we couldn't miss this one, Trey. This this is a marquee event of the season. It, I, I'm honest. I mean, look at the color of this dirt. I mean, that's a weird comment to make, but it's it's darker. Is it clay? Well, being down here on the track, I've noticed it's a little bit slipperier than some of the other dirt that we are used to seeing. So kind of more like mud than dirt. So it'll be interesting to see these drivers kind of sliding around here on this course and see which of the 15 drivers can take advantage. We have two Aussies on the field. Can they get to the event where we're going to find out to take a look at the field of trucks for freestyling here in Sydney? The first truck out tonight, we Laura Chung in the back. We got Dragonoid, then Medusa. We have Ben Pele. And in Megal down, we have Chris Reynolds. In Monster Mutt Rut Riley, we have Matthew Burnett. In Alien Invasion, it's Travis Crampton. And in Earthshaker, it's Bronson Minnick. Then Brandon Beale pilots the El Toro Loco. And Max D, it's Anthony Nez. And one of the, the Aussies, Zach Vitar Sr. and Big Kahuna. And Scooby-Doo, it's Samet Oz. Can Blue Thunder has Luke Buller behind the wheel. And then Pirates Curse, it's Evan Hunter. The other Aussie, Noah Clifton, will drive Jurassic Attack and obsess its Logan Williams. And last week's winner, Nathan Stapleton in the Grave Digger. So Trey, the first ever driver to pilot a BMG Monster Jam series truck in the international uh, event. It's Lord Chung in the back of Gun Dragonoid. It's it's yellow this time. Yeah, it's it's a little bit different. They, uh, they yeah, so <laughs> they do have some dirt kind of built up as berms there to uh, kind of stray from the out bounds coming out of the tunnel, but uh, that could be some sketch modes as Lord Chung put that new paint job to the test here in Sydney. It's uh, it's. It's, it's different seeing this, but uh, Joe, this is uh, this is. I mean, look how much out of bounds you have. One, so you would think that the officials would be a little bit more lenient with it, I guess you could say, and uh, that, that'll be a different for these drivers. I don't. I think they'll take a little bit to get used to. Look at the armor, though. Yeah, they built up these obstacles pretty steep, but as you mentioned, there is a lot of room here at the track. If they built this track all with dirt, there'd be too much room to you know play around with these drivers because these stadiums, you know, not in the United States, they're a lot bigger. We don't we don't really notice it, Trey, but uh, the stadiums in the United States are pretty small compared to what they have in the rest of the world. Oh, I don't understand why they just have piles of dirt on the end and uh, it's very hard to see. Oh no! Oh my oh. gosh! A hard I side slap. <laughs> I thought it was going to be just like yesterday, Joe. Remember how many, what, literally four or five of the very last trucks all, uh, you know, yeah. lost the wheel doing that? Last four trucks broke off six wheels combined, but a Lord Chung took it to be the first driver to do a backflip here tonight in the back. We've got Dragon a little bit of a twist. She lands on the oh, nose and now no. she's on the back. She throws it in reverse and saves the truck! I'm gonna have to go uh, thank that container later because I think that was the reason she was able to control it so well. Oh, and for huge air off the jammer, lands it down, pulls oh it to Wheelie, goodness. up over the pod, and oh. now off the pod, and on her oh, land! Can't she save it? No. no. But the clock ran down to zero. <laughs> Trey, the first event internationally in the BMG Monster Jam series, and Laura Chung goes off for the fans here in Sydney.
Bro, this is only the first truck, like you just said. This is – we still have how many more to go? If, if they just keep trucks. stepping it up. Yeah, I think uh, for the 14 drivers coming out oh. by Lord Truck, look at this save right here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, oh. She barely touched that dumpster as well. She wasn't even really on it. Right there. She just kind of tapped it, and it just kind of settled the truck out more, if anything, and then uh, she was going to continue on. What a save. And then this wheelie right here up into the pot. This ends the run. But, <laughs> Trey, 14 drivers have to come out after Laura Chung. And I don't know how many points they're going to have to work with, but it cannot be too many. No, not not very much at all. And if she would have pulled this out, it would have been even less. So <laughs> we'll have to see what the judges feel about this. And we will have to see what the judges think. Remember, there is no tiebreaker judge here. So Laura Chung being the first out could be a big benefit for her. And the back of Dragonoid Dragonoid, two eights and 8.5. It's a 24.5. The first strikeout, Laura Chung in the back of Dragonoid Dragonoid puts up a big score here in Sydney. And now Ben Pele and the Medusa behind the wheel, the pink body style here. But... What does Ben have to be thinking here, Trey? A 20 point, 24.5 is the first truck out back on Dragon Lord Chung. Ben has to be shaking in that seat right now. You know, normally I'm saying they only got, you know, four, five, six points to deal with whenever we're halfway through, if not more. Uh, Joe, that was the first truck out. Yeah. So I, um, everyone else watching this knows that either they got to go bigger or they got to hope the judges are a little bit nicer to them. <laughs> I guess so. But uh, we'll see what Ben Pelle can do with this Medusa truck. See if he can try and find the uh, the limit and set that limit even higher than uh, what he was maybe originally planning to in the Medusa. Going over those little turf burns, which once again, as you mentioned, it's kind of an interesting uh, factor into this course. But hopefully drivers don't have to get too near those throughout the night. Oh, my goodness. Look at the sky wheelie from that. <laughs> I mean, these drivers are going to go all out, Trey. I, I think every single driver here, you know, normally they, they want to win every week, obviously, but this is one where I think everyone circled it and said, I need to win this event because it's something special. You know, I don't know if these drivers are used to how big this place is. I mean, like you said, Joe, this is like double it, and this, this is going to be a first truck to do donuts, so the judges are going to like that. He did donuts but, um, down by the tunnel. <laughs> what's that? He did donuts down like the, the, the area to come out of the tunnel. Really? That looks like a whole half a di oh, oh, my goodness. No. Upside oh, no. down. Oh, it's almost a save. Is it going to save? No. Oh, I don't think that front tire had any grip. No, and 17 seconds left for Medusa. It was a solid run while it lasted, but time left on the clock. The judges aren't going to take too kindly to that. Well, right here, Joe, uh, this was the, uh, the save. It was very nice. I mean, right here, almost in the same kind of way Laura did it, except it was from a different angle. Oh, no, no, this was the almost save. Right, right, right. But uh, right here, watch this tire right here. Yeah. It, it just stopped. Yeah, it just stuffed its way into the ground. It didn't necessarily grip like you mentioned. It didn't have any drive into it to pull it back out. Unfortunately, it's going to be another difficult run for Ben Pele and the Medusa. The second straight week ending the run short in this Medusa truck. Two sixes and a 5.5 for Ben Pele. Puts Medusa at a 17.5 for the second truck out. A disappointing way to end his freestyle run. And now next out, Chris Reynolds in the Megalodon Monster Truck. We'll see if uh, the Aussies love this shark, and we'll see what, what Reynolds can do behind the wheel starting in the 90 seconds with a nice sky wheel over the back of the racing lane. You know, uh, Australia, uh, on their coast and stuff, they, they see quite a big, uh, quite big great white sharks out there. Joe, do you think uh, this one might be a little bit of a favorite? It could be. I, I think maybe if they had some kangaroos, kangaroo monster truck, maybe. <laughs> hey, we might have to talk to Monster Jim, see if we can get that thing to happen. <laughs> yeah, just, just for Australia shows, please. <laughs> But uh, so far. Oh, oh my, my goodness! He was past he vertical. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a truck do that before. Uh, you know what? He's happy he did. He's putting into some donuts here. Maybe trying to kill off some clock as well because he knew that was a risky move. You know, normally you see like like street bikes do that where they where they grind the license plate off. You know. I've never seen a monster truck do that before. No, that was... I, I think that caught even Reynolds by surprise, right? In this Megalodon, he probably did not expect that to happen. The, uh, we have to check over on that side. We, uh, there might be a divot in the ground that we go <laughs> fix. But, uh, Joe, he's having some good momentum going so far for him. And, uh, 30 seconds left. He has quite a bit of time to, uh, pick it up, you know, get a couple big moves in there. Nice air off of that. But, uh, you know, it doesn't really look like he's going to rush, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, uh -oh. he's going to be in a rush now. He's Hold up. on. Oh, my oh gosh. My what a save. <laughs> he lost the dorsal fin. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's losing all the fin strength. He's going to continue it, though, just full throttling it. That was very nicely done. There, the tail's starting to come off. It's got a dog out there. It's just wagging its tail. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what this truck has turned into, but it's not a shark anymore. Huge hit. Oh. Up and over on the nose. Can he save this one? Not quite. Oh, my God. But that was that another. destroyed. <laughs> that was another. Oh, it's still not done. And there it goes. done. <laughs> 
that was another very impressive run. You know, we've had three trucks go out, and all three of them have had some pretty impressive moves in their run so far. I mean, Joe, if this, this continues, we, we might have... Joe, I don't want to say it, but we even might have a chance at our first 30. We could. That is for sure right Watch here. this, Look. watch this, watch this! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> You could tell where he figured out that that was going to be bad as he as he hit the brakes and went, oh no, that's. That well, I'm starting to see the crowd again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to see the crowd on the opposite end of the stadium, and then oh, right here, this amazing right here. save. Look at that. Rolled it over. Goodbye to the dorsal fin, and just enough momentum to get him back. He didn't even have to turn the wheel. He was set right nope. up for it. Yeah, set right up for the next obstacle, and then this is what ultimately ends the run off of the pod. The clock is ticking down to zero right here, so he knows he needs something big. As he hits, he just stands in the gas. Almost has a save right here. As he hits the gas, it might have actually hurt him. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it might have actually. He might have been over rotating by the time he hit the gas, but it was it was a great chance right here, and ended up on his roof. And uh, Joe, I. I, I have to say, we might have a challenge for the lead already. Yeah, we could. We thought Lord Chung's score might stay for a little bit at that 24.5 in the back of the Dragonoid, but Chris Reynolds might challenge. We'll have to see what the judges think. Uh, the run's pretty similar. We'll see what they think for Chris Reynolds and the Megalodon. The scores are in 2 8 and a 7 5. He'll be a point short with a 23.5. So Chris Reynolds and the Megalodon goes to second right now of the three trucks that have gone out. And now, next out. Monster Mutt Rottweiler with Matthew Burnett behind the wheel. We'll see what the Rottweiler can do here in Australia. Burnett, a previous division champion, but that was behind the wheel of Max D. Looking to bring some of that success he had in Max D over to this Monster Mutt team, the Dog Pound. And his first event in this truck wasn't the best. Had an unfortunate end going off that back foot ramp and not complete the back foot. But I'm sure Burnett's back and just eager to get after it here in Australia. <laughs> Joe, watch <laughs> Look at the, the, ears. the ears, yeah. <laughs> Do you think the Australian fans them. are liking that too? Do you not listen to them? Uh, I mean, uh, every time they do it, it, it seems like they're like, yeah, or, or they're laughing or something. Going off the <laughs> jammer right there. Nice sky wheelie. Really yep, yeah, pulling into a wheelie. Oh for, that's goodness. walking the dog right there. You know, for it being slippery, that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, they able to get that much. Well, you think about it, it, it wasn't this truck, but it was the other monster mine. Who's able to pull a little tire wheelie out last week? Yeah, yeah this week actually. Two days ago. Oh, I'm uh, Joe. Uh, there's so many dogs jet lag. Here that, jet lag. Yeah, that's what it is. How? What is the time difference? Here? Look at the air. That was off the racing lane, Trey. Dude, I don't. These Aussies don't go to track. Yes, they do. I think we should be coming back here a lot more. Maybe all three divisions coming for an Australian week. I would be a okay with that. Going over the crush cars right there. God, <laughs> that car kind of kind of folded immediately. Yeah, that was a might have been made out of paper. He's gonna be going for a backflip, Joe. So let's see how well the dog does his tricks. And nicely done. That was textbook right there. He's gonna have to back it up, but again, judges don't take points off for that just because it was a backflip. You see the traction trying to, you know, get going there, but can't really. Nice air after that, right into the pod section here. He's gonna get a little squirreled up though. Oh look out! Look out! Oh, he's upside down. And he's not even going to get an attempt to say that. I think he might have given up since the time ran out. Could have given up, or maybe maybe they're strict with the out of bounds rule. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a solid, what, two, 20, 30 feet right there? Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's that backflip. As you mentioned, textbook. I mean, look, all four wheels pretty much land at the same time. That was that was amazing. I think that might have been the best one this season so far. So while it was a solid run for Matthew Burnett in the Monster Mount Rottweiler, I just don't think it's going to contend with uh, Bakugan or Megalodon with just, you know, the, the, elec <sighs> the electricity of those runs had. I got to agree. I see this going a solid third place with this one, Joe, and uh, nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, he had a solid run. He just didn't have the bigger moments like the front two have right now. He's begging for bones here at the end of the run. <laughs> That's for sure for Matthew <laughs> Burnett. We'll see if the scores are the coming in from the judges as we speak. And they're in a 7-5, seven, a 7, and a 6-5. It's a 21 for Monster Mountain Rottweiler. Right, third place, as you mentioned, Trey, of the four trucks that have so far gone out. And now next out, Travis Crampton in the Elliott Invasion. It was the first truck out uh, last week in San Antonio, but had a decent performance there. It is now kind of towards the bottom of the midfield. We'll see what Crampton can do in this Elliott Invasion truck as he's starting out the 90 seconds kind of calm over the back of that car stack. You think uh, the guys down here already uh, see quite a bit of alien UFO activity? They might, that's for sure. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh no! no! Oh my gosh, is it? All right, it's... Oh no. No, Joe, the curse followed us all the way here. And I, trade that was like 15 seconds in when that wheel <sighs> broke off. We, I knew it looked strange. <laughs> Joe, you had to have seen that truck dip to the side there and you had that feeling in you but i was hoping it was going to hold strong but right here 
It didn't even hit the front yeah, tire first. That's the even rear, stranger. Yeah, I. Oh, that is right here. Look at it. Look at it slide though. You, you mentioned it's slippery. Just look at the truck slide on the hood. And if only it was able to land back because nothing was really hanging. They might have let him run so he could have gotten just a little bit more out. But unfortunately, he only fills about 20 seconds on the clock. It's probably going to be one of the lowest scores we've ever seen in the beam. Yeah, one, a two, and a one, five. Only two oh, hits geez. in the run. A 4.5 for Travis Crampton. A tough break here in the alien invasion. That was a very disappointing run we just saw in, out of Alien Invasion. Now, Bronze Big on the Earth Shaker trying to maybe get these uh, fans, you know, the, the, their energy back up because obviously a very disappointing run that we just saw last time. But uh, Minix coming out with, a, with a, an aggression right here to try and ramp, amp this crowd back up and get them back into the spirits. Oh, I heard again, he built this track. <laughs> yeah. I mean, think about how much dirt that truck can hold itself. Yeah, there's, I would say there's not much dirt out here, but once again, the stadium is bigger. So it's probably. <laughs> no, there's a lot of dirt yeah, out here, yeah, too. Yeah, so. <laughs> But, uh, There's so much they had to put extras on the side. Exactly. <laughs> they, they had too much dirt. But uh, nice, nice combination. Right there. He's gonna turn it around. Might hit the dirt. No, he's gonna stay away from it there. But uh, so far he's though. been doing not too bad. Nice single jump there. Big air. He's gonna be able to just slap really out of this. Oh, onto one, one wheel. wheel. Oh no, he's side walling. Oh no. Break dancing. Oh. You know what? The one bad thing about flat it being so top. flat up there. Yeah. It does not help it. <laughs> And Trey, that is now two straight trucks where you think about, you know, you have so much energy going into these runs because, you know, the very big event, as mentioned, probably the biggest event of any of the three series this season. And for it to come to an end that short for these last two trucks, that has to be heartbreaking. <laughs> to come all this you way. I think heard it, Joe? Is that how steep that is? I think Normally, so. you know, it, it kind of helps tip it back over, but with how steep that is, it might have kicked it over. And then, like we said, it's so flat on the top that it just doesn't come back. That's a tough break for Bronze Mick and the Earthshaker. Not a great result. Two fours and a three. It's going to be an 11. Currently second to last of the trucks that have gotten a tough break for Bronze Mick here in the Earthshaker. Well, Trey, hopefully Brandon Beal in the El Toro Loco. A new, uh, new body style here. We have the uh, Burgundy El Toro Loco that was run around 2013-ish. And uh, Beal's brought out here to Australia. Hopefully he can break this, uh, th this bad streak of runs that we've had going here. This is a very weird looking El Toro Loco, I'll be honest with you. It's almost like a, I wouldn't say, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you have to do it to both sides of the stadium. <laughs> it's almost like a, it's a flip of what it normally is, but I think the, the flames on the bottom are a little bit more flamey whenever it's the original color. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? I do know what you're trying to say, yes. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think that's why it only ran one year, because it was so special and interesting that they're like, oh, if we have the money or the budget to keep painting this. <laughs> Especially with this man behind the wheel. Oh uh, my goodness! This, this, this might be a one. Look at the bounce. Yeah, it, it, I thought it was gonna bounce over those crush cars. Now he's gonna put some donuts right. What is with that spot donuts here tonight so far? It might be slipperier over there, so it might be a little bit easier. It does look a little darker, a little, little bit wetter over there, so that might be it. It could be because they only come out of the tunnel. Oh, hold not, on, hold on. on. Freestyling over there, so it's not drying it up. So that. that say be finish your finish your topic. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely could be it. I mean, I, I think they oh. ran the water truck. It just bounced on top. <laughs> Look at the way this Del Toro Loco oh is flying right now. Brandon Beal cannot be maybe the happiest in there with with the bounces, but at least it's, it's pulling out some cool moves. As long as he stays on all fours, he can't be too... Oh, angry. my goodness. <laughs> that, that racing lane is outstanding so far here tonight. That is insane. And, and again, like you were saying with the bouncing, I don't know if he would be too happy because it looks like Eli Bright yesterday in Gravedigger. I mean, yeah. he was absolutely... Look at, Look at that! He bounced over that obstacle. It's almost like they had the same exact setup. Oh, he's going for a back, but that was not a lot of turnaround oh, time. Goodness. Somehow he landed. That was not a lot of setup time for that back foot. <laughs> he, he had maybe two seconds if even right there. And, oh, no. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> What a crash! Oh, oh wait, wait! And it's a save! I don't even know what to say. I, I don't even know what to say. And that came all within time, Trey, so that will be counted for the judges. Brandon Beal went off right at the end in the El Toro Loco. That was very impressive here. And again, like this, like you said, this backflip, not very much time to set it up, but he got it off. So ain't nothing wrong with that. Didn't really have to back up that much either because it pretty much slid him back out to where he needed to be. And then Joe, just just talk us through this. Yeah, I mean, he hits hard. He's on the nose now. <laughs> I don't think he ever touches the gas or the brakes because he's, his feet probably aren't on the pedals with how hard he hit. 
Oh my goodness. He's lucky the truck didn't slide and was able to grip and put him back over. That was outstanding. All came within time. So that's to put up some s- some scores for the judges. We'll see what they give. Brandon Beal, the El Toro Loco, 2 8 and a 7 5. They'll time with Megalodon. So we'll move into third place at 23.5 for Brandon Beal here in the El Toro Loco. And Trey next down to the track. Anthony Hernandez in the Max D, the Aussie's nemesis. And I'm hearing some boos out of the crowd. Why, why would there be booze? Well, the Fitzwater and Clifton, they don't like this man. Fitzwater's leading the series right now, though, in between them, is he not? He is, but, I mean, still, you can't, you can't cheer on the nemesis. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see if uh, Hernandez makes him quiet down a little bit, or if, uh, you know, if he puts up any run early, he might uh, feed them. But uh, right here, Joe, different spot. These are Mets clones. Look at this. He's still going. Oh, he might be dizzy. Hold on. That's, right, he it that's out. like the closest to Tom Metz's Cyclones I think anyone will get. What the, the world, Anthony? <laughs> I think the only difference is that he didn't get up uh, very close to tipping it over. That's true, yeah. I, th- I think he's trying to stray away from that. Maybe if he gets to the end of his run. Nice early backflip, not even halfway in. But if he gets to the end of his run, maybe he'll start doing some Cyclones. You think these fans will ever start cheering for him? Uh, maybe if he does something else. I mean, to be fair. Oh not, my! What was that turn? Uh, he's he's, <laughs> he's just trying to get from one. one obstacle to the next, and I don't blame him. But it's not all the fans that are doing this. Just some select few down here. I feel like there's more booze than there is cheers. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen when you make uh, when you make enemies with the home the, the home fan favorite. But so far, he's doing absolutely amazing out there. He's got great momentum. There's not very much, you know, settled down time. I mean, it just seems like he's hitting jump after jump with 15 seconds remaining, though, Joe. I mean, he's had a good run. Oh, but it's broken. It's broken on the front. Right oh, no. He broke a hydro or something, but as you mentioned, I don't know if it's lead taking because he needs some wow factors. He's still really right there. Clock is going to expire out to zero. He pulls in some donuts near the out of bounds, slams on the brakes, and I don't think he's done quite yet, even though the clock says he's done. Which one's the one that's still not broken? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! What in the world? Uh, well, you can see, I think it's the left front that's not broken. I think they're both broken. Oh, uh, they yeah. might both be broken now. Well, that Is he not done still? Me. He's still not done. What? I what? think he might be trying to get to the fans again. I don't think he knows oh, what he's goodness. doing, Trey. I think... No. It, yeah, it looks like he's still got some speed. He's ag- oh! oh! There he goes. Oh! That's it. No, he's nope, st- maybe it's not it. He's still in the gas. Where's he going? <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> That's good. Well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, now no, it's it. hanging. They're <laughs> definitely going to shut him off now. <laughs> well, Trey. What the heck? If I was booing him to start, I'd be cheering him on right now. Cause I don't, I, I don't he just think gave I hear a single boo. He just gave these fans about a minute extra than what they came for. I think they were more excited to see the truck destroyed than they were for the driver in it. But right here, this backflip, I don't know where he – right there, me? I think that's where he uh, – I don't know. I, I don't think we have an egg. <laughs> A lot broke on that one as he just kind of slid the truck all around. Kind of remind me of Tom Mentz in World Finals 5. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Whenever he was just trying to break the truck and get it to end. Might have taken a few notes out of his page book for this one because he had the cyclones in, he had the run ending, uh, whatever you call this in, and then <laughs> – Right here, he almost saved it, but uh, I think it might have been the broken wheel. We'll see what the judges think. No wow factors within the 90 seconds that are scored, and obviously they can't score the one minute after. Two seven fives and an eight will be at 23. That'll be currently fourth place for Anthony Hernandez in the Max D. And contrary to last run trade, there's a lot of cheers as Zach Fitzgerald Senior, the Big Kuna, flies out onto the course in his home in his home event. Uh, I just hope that this time around he actually has luck to finish it because it would be absolutely <laughs> devastating. Joe, look at him go! <laughs> he doesn't know he has to freestyle, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Hard to stop when it's slippery, Fitzwater. Please just make it to the first obstacle. All right, well, let's see. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. His fans? Nope. Never mind. I thought you were gonna get a picture with them, but uh, uh, I don't like the way this is looking, Joe. I think he is ready to fly high in this big Kahuna. He hit the wall. <laughs> he's, he's so excited, oh, Joe. Right? Hold your breath. Oh, look at that <laughs> launch. <laughs> Perfectly fine. He He's fine. <laughs> and look at Celebration Donuts. I mean, I would too. And he's still. All right, now let's see what uh, let's see what this one is for. Is, uh, 
Home home country crowd? Yeah, it's his, his home country crowd. I'll, I'll just say his home crowd, right? That, that, that's you know where he's from exactly? I don't know exactly where he's from, but uh, all I know is it's Australia, and we're in Australia, and it's the only time we've been in Australia in Monster Jam. Oh my goodness. That is nice air. Oh, Lands be on the careful. side of the pod. But I think this man's so excited. He doesn't care what happens. He just wants to, he just wants to go out here and get these fans up to cheer about. You know if he breaks the truck early on, he does not care. He'll do whatever he has to do, right? Yeah, that's that. really into oh, the oh, jammer. Oh. Can he save it? Watch out of the wall! Oh! <laughs> right. Well, all right. So they shut him down. They'll go down there and check and make sure the truck's fine. Did he dent the container? I think he did dent the container. Joe, he dented the... I've never seen them dent the container before. So they're going to go down there. They're down there right now making sure the truck is fine. And if it is, he can continue. Oh, is the truck fine? I think the container took most of the brunt. I would hope so. I hope Fitzwater can some. Oh, he's fired up! He's fired up! Oh my god. Oh, he's going straight for a reverse backflip. Where is he? Oh, oh no! no. Back under the container! He's stuck on the hood. He, yeah, he is. Now, I think that's it, though. Yeah, I don't think they're going to allow him to get off of that just because the container is broken already. And that leaves um, 30 seconds on the clock, Trey. So it's not going to be. I don't think be... I've ever seen a truck park like that. No, it's not going to be the event win. But oh, at least he wowed this. the crowd. Oh, this could have been so bad if it oh. stayed like where it was. Yeah, he's lucky he hit with the nose because obviously, you know, yeah. th these engines are rear engine engines, so they're not in the front. Oh, that could have that could have ex like, yeah legit exploded. And then right here, they let him <laughs> go, and instead of doing something normal, he tries a reverse backflip because it's Fitzwater. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, we're in Australia. We're upside down. Oh right? my so. goodness! And then he got stuck. I, I don't know if the hood was the breeze of it. I think the hood. I think he got caught up with the hood. <laughs> well, Fitzwater wowed the fans in Australia, and it's not going to be the event win, as the scores are coming down for the judges: two fives and a six, a sixteen. So tough break for Fitzwater, third lowest score so far here tonight. Not what he wanted here in Sydney, Australia. And now next down, Samet Osgan in the street from a, from Sweden, right? Looking to uh to, to come out here to the Australian. Probably maybe wild them up a little bit more than Fitzwater is able to do. I just don't know if that's possible, but I don't think I've ever heard a lot of crowd I know. If Fitzwater came out there. As, as soon as Fitzwater roared out of yes. that tunnel, I have not heard a louder cheer or chant. But uh, you know what? <laughs> maybe if something crazy happens here tonight, we'll, we'll be here. Oh my! Oh, oh my goodness! Trey, that racing lane is outstanding. I love it. Can we make that like a, a, a standard nowadays? Yeah, I is want that possible? everywhere. But no one even hit the other side. Oh, or the other one. Oh my goodness. All right, now he's going to the jammer the oh, no. backwards way. Nicely controlled in the Snoopy Dude. Now pulling some donuts here as he's 30 seconds into the run and a little bit longer donuts, but just fine. The fans love it. Snoopy yeah, Dude. It was pretty big. It was pretty big. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Look out. Wow. In a second. Nice save. save. I can't believe the truck held together as well. I was going to say, um, the Scooby-Doo was a pretty big attraction in the pit party today, but uh, you know what? He's been doing pretty good by himself out there, even representing Scooby-Doo. He's, he's a big, big, pretty big attraction out here in the track. He's going for a back loop here. 30 seconds left. Huge oh, air. No. Go for a second of... And he continues to... He has a... Yeah, he has a, I think he had the, the dumpsters down there and popped the tire. Oh, look at it go. Hey, oh. And that's not going to stop him, Trey. Uh, he's he's got to turn into it now, though, Joe. Just remember that. So it's going to limit him here, but... Uh, oh, my goodness. He has two flat tires! What? <laughs> and they're on the How same side! He just stuffed into the car and broke the tire! Oh, this is going to hurt. He's going <laughs> to... The clock is filled. This is all for the fans! Oh, wow! He hit the dirt! <laughs> At least on the bright side, I don't think they have to move it because he's out of the way. <laughs> well, Trey... 24-5 is the score to beat. I just, it's going to be hard to judge that because the final few seconds got kind of ruined with two flat tires. I think this is another top three run, but I don't know if it's lead taking. I'm going to be honest. We'll have to see what the judges think. This was that first really nice save, and this consecutive back, though, this has to score a lot of points. Yeah, I, I want to watch the tire here. Yeah. So right here, it didn't touch anything, and then it got cockeyed, so it pushed it backwards eh. and right yep. there. Yeah. As he came just caught up. the corner of it, yeah. And then he oh. takes off, plows it to the cars, blows the front tire, goes in some don'ts. And obviously, that 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 side that has the deflated tires, little, it's gonna be, rough. <laughs> gonna be going up in the air. Oh my, oh goodness. my goodness! 
Well, we'll see what the judges think. Laura Chung, the first strikeout, still has the lead with a 24.5. Did Osgan do enough before the final few seconds? He did! It's a 25.5. Scooby doing some at Osgan. Now is the freestyle leader here in Sydney, Australia. So Trey, it's a 25.5 now in the hot seat. Five trucks remain, and Luke Bowler in the Blue Thunder. One of the most impressive rookies from week one. He was the second truck out, scored fifth in San Antonio. Kenny pull out those same crazy moves here in Sydney <laughs> to do just as good. I don't know if he got hung up on the crush car. Those crush cars are absolutely... Oh, crush. oh my goodness. Uh, Joe, they just I keep going bigger off that race. I think I'm in love with it. I, I, oh, don't, know. I, I don't know how you can't be in love with it. Oh, he's gonna hook it around here. Look at the air again. Nice air. Oh, oh my the goodness. Nice no, really into oh, those careful. obstacles. And got it over nicely in the Blue Thunder. So 30 seconds in Trey. Blue Bowler having that same impression he had last week. Some donuts as well. I don't know how that ended up working out for him, but it did with that wheelie combo there. He's gonna go right to it back a little bit early on, Joe. Nice. Very nice. So Luke Bowler now half the run left. He has a back by the way. He's had some crazy moments, has the momentum. Can he get some more well back to challenge the Met Osgood in this we do? To flip it around here, going for the pod section maybe? No, he's gonna think better of it. Back of the MX Hill. Nice sky wheelie up the back of it, lands it at the top, puts it down. 30 seconds remain for the blue thunder. What more can he do? He's oh, slipping it too much. sliding around. <laughs> <laughs> I think he put a little bit too much sauce on that one there, Joe. He's going to go on the other side of the MX Hill. Nicely done. On oh! The pod section. He's going to get crossed oh, up, though. What a save from the Blue Thunder. It actually worked out for him. Ten it's seconds left. Uh, the wind it's is, on there. Yeah, it's, it's trying to come off. Wait for it. It's still connected on the bottom. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Huge air landed it flat down, and the clock ticks to zero. An impressive run from Blue Thunder, but I just don't think it's going to challenge the lead. But it's going to be a solid performance. He's doing some men's clones. Stop? No? I, he's happy. No? 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 Oh, 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 oh! There it goes. Well, that's the second straight week he has flipped the truck doing donuts right at the end of the run. Might be a signature thing from him coming from now on. It could be. Every every time he he fills the clock, he's gonna put in some donuts and end the run there. But uh, right here, Joe, backflip. Pretty nice backflip. Pretty nice indeed right here. Lands it not as perfectly as you saw earlier tonight. What was that, <laughs> Rottweiler that landed perfectly? But uh, yes. that was still very good. And then right here, this was the oh. save. Side of the pod and just flips the truck over. Luckily, the momentum brought him back on all fours. Yeah, I, I literally don't think his, any of the wheels touched the tires for that left front did. So, I mean, if it works, it works, right? And then these are the donuts. These were after the time it expired just for the fans here in Australia. And he ends the truck on its lid. But, Trey, we just saw Osgan take the lead with the 25.5. And I just don't think this is going to challenge that, nor is it going to challenge, I don't think, Laura Chung. I have to agree with you, Joe, but uh, hey, at the end of the day, let's, uh, let's see what the judges feel about it. Yeah, it could be a solid, you know, top five or so run for Luke Buller and the Blue Thunder, as it had definitely its moments. The scores are in from the judges, two, seven, fives, and eight, so it's a 23 for Luke Buller above mid-pack here in Blue Thunder so far, but now four trucks remain in freestyle. Here comes Evan Hunter in the Pirates Curse, a very solid performance last week in San Antonio, looking to go just as big here in Australia. And Showing off to the fans here before he starts his 90 seconds. Oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. He did the same thing Laura did. <laughs> well, maybe that's some good luck. Laura had a really good run. We'll see if Evan can, can do just the same. Uh, you think uh, Australia has any pirates? Oh, well, they have some really good wheelies. Look at that. He dragged that across the entire arena? Stadium? Stadium. What do you call this? It's a, it's a stadium, I would guess. <laughs> Bro, is this a soccer field? What is this? Like, where are we? I mean, they, they, they don't really play, like, you know, soccer or some of the sports. Here. I didn't get the background of the place, but, you know, it's good enough. Look at the air! Yeah, that, I think that was the racing lane catch, right? Oh, my goodness. This racing lane is absolutely insane. Let's see what Evan, Evan Hunter goes next, going to the pod. Huge! Oh, my air. goodness. A little bit of a sky with the off. It lands it down, goes over the crush cars nicely, and now has half the run left in this Pirates first truck. He's now flying around here. Where's he going next? Going to the tires in there. Not many have hit this here tonight. Nice sky oh, wheelie. Careful. Lands it nicely. That was very nice indeed, Joe. He's going to whip it around here. 30 seconds, about 30 seconds remaining on the clock here. He's got plenty of time. Nice sky wheelie up the back of the MX heel. A little crossed up, though, but he was able to control it. Oh, look. Look how he just slid that thing right into place for the back foot ramp right here. With 20 seconds left. Evan Hunter in the Pirates curse, but needs to step it up. Nice back foot. Oh, a little bit of a moonwalk for Australian fans. Oh. 
He's gonna. He's got plenty of room to back it up there too, Joe. He's, he's got 10 seconds remaining. What he's gonna be able to do with that time? <laughs> he just launched off those curse cars. <laughs> now down to five seconds though. He can he'll be able to hit the pod in time. He hits those cars in time. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Is it gonna come back? Is it going to? Hit no. The throttle. Oh. Uh, and he bounced it. It balanced. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just don't think it's enough again. I have to agree. I, I, if he would have pulled out that save, I think that would have been it. Yeah. But I think they are at item, and he was just not able to try to even attempt at it. But right here, Joe, backflip into a moonwalk. We've seen this quite a bit this season, and every time I see it, I'm just impressed more and more. Yeah, first time this event, though, so it should definitely uh, score some points. He lost the flag getting out of here. Look at that. Just came off. Uh, yeah, it's very strange. And then this hit right here, I don't know if they necessarily shut him off or if his feet were just off the pedals with how vicious of a crash this was. Yeah, I, honestly, now you say it, I don't know. And then right here, just going to settle itself down on the crush cars. And, and it bounces with the uh, the, the, the crush cars kind of helping there. So we'll see what the judges think for Evan Hunter in the Pirates' Curse. Where is it going to place him in the running order? It's going to be a 22.5, so just below Blue Thunder and Luke Boulder. That will be a round mid-pack for Evan Hunter in the Pirates' Curse. Trades another fan favorite flying out to the course. The other Aussie in the field, Noah Clifton, in the Jurassic Attack. So, do you think he wants to win the event or beat Fitzy? Well, uh, winning the event would beat Fitzy. So let's just say he wants to win the event. <laughs> I mean, you got a point there. Oh, look! Oh, my look out. goodness! Oh my gosh! That could have started the time for all we know. I didn't even know there was one there. Oh! oh my! Racing word. lane for the first hit of the 90 seconds. Noah Clifton going big. Just like Fitzwater did early on here tonight. I didn't see how this racing lane is built, though, because whatever they did to it, either they put a metal block inside of it to keep it the same shape or, or, or something else, but it just sends these trucks. Right at the end of the night, we're going to go down there, we're going to look at it, we're going to take pictures of it, we're going to try and see if there's anything in it and get the angles of what it's at. Anyone have a ruler? Hey, anyone got Protractors, a ruler? Protractors, you know, something like that. <laughs> we need something, but uh, he's going to put it into it. A singular no, donut. <laughs> I mean, good enough. I guess it would count, right? I, I think he was scared because he was down there in those BKT dumpsters and he didn't want to hit them. So he said, all right, one donut's good enough, but Clifton has great momentum here with the transfer attack. Maybe the best momentum we've seen tonight besides maybe Hernandez and the Max team, but needs those wow moments to try and beat Scooby-Doo for that freestyle lead. He's still got 30 seconds though, Joe, so he has plenty of time to do it right here. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going for oh, oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> I don't think it worked out like he wanted to, but it still worked out. And now, Kenny felt these final 20 seconds in a big way. It might have worked out, and they placed them perfectly in the opposite direction. I guess it did. He's going for the pod for the next hit. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> Trey, I don't know if I've ever seen as hard of a hit in a monster truck as I just saw right there. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> well, here's the move that, that hurt a little bit less. There were seven <laughs> seconds on the clock, Trey. So how do you judge that if you're a judge? I don't know. <laughs> this was nice, though. And then I just want to see that last hit. All like, I the air he got from it. He, he, he whipped it. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> a little bit too much whip. <laughs> Look at that. And He's facing the opposite direction. Oh, oh my. my word. So That's broke. I think the, the chassis shock. broke. The shocks broke. The tie rods probably broke. His his head might be broke a little bit after that, too. The fans are erupting in cheers as he runs to the sidelines. They're leaving the truck out there on the side of the course. We'll see what they give. Noah Clifton for scores. Was enough to beat the 25.5. It will tie Lord Chung. So go to third place for Noah Clifton. A 24.5 for the Jurassic Attack. Two trucks remain. So Trey, Logan Williams, the obsession, just saw that crazy freestyle run from Noah Clifton. And there's that truck. Very beat up indeed. We'll see what Williams can do in this obsessed truck. Well, he's got a uh, top. I don't even know what he's got a top at this point, Joe. Yeah, I, we know he has to be at 25.5, but how can you beat it if you're Logan Williams in the Obsessed? Obviously, you know, he got second last week in San Antonio, so he knows how to go big in these events. Remember, he, he was the one that did uh, the double front flip over the, uh, the back flip ramp in Atlanta back uh, in the last chance event season. He's going for a sky with it right here. Not many of those here tonight, but nicely done for Logan Williams as he's nearing 30 seconds into the road. 
And I'm just looking the first one off that side of the racing there. I can't remember if anyone else did it. Uh, Reynolds did it early on in Megadon. That was the third truck out. But I think since then we haven't seen one off oh. of that. He's going to turn it around here. Careful of the, 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 the dinosaur sitting there. <laughs> yeah, I th from our camera angle, it was looking a lot closer, I think, than what it oh really was. Oh, my goodness. Nice sky wheel. Lands it down perfectly and pulls him into a nice wheelie. So William's trying everything he can now, pulling in some donuts, but needs to fill out, well, one donut. Needs to fill out these final 30 seconds in a big way, though. So he's going to go back to the MX hill. Oh, it's turning in the air, though. Nicely put down. It actually worked out better than I thought it was going to. Oh, my gosh. What? He just flipped it into place. Yeah, now 20 seconds going for a backflip, and the obsessed lands it nicely, puts him in the right direction. No backup needed. Final 12 seconds. Oh, look at the air. Oh, hard onto the rear. Now trying to control it. Oh, Dumpsters what? are there. Oh, my God. <laughs> How does it stop like that? He modeled it off Fitzwater. I... How is it stopped like that? I don't know, but the clock runs down to zero and the run is over for Logan you know, for Williams. him going head first, Joe, he hit that a lot later than I thought he was going to. Yeah, luckily it was going a lot slower than what Fitzwater was going at. When You know, Fitzwater is basically full speed. Williams was trying to stop it before he got there. and Just, you know, I think it would have gone over forwards if he stopped it any further. Right here. Gas. Oh, never mind. Yeah, gas it. Gas it. Break, 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 it, break, 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 break. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, <laughs> That was a little bit of a harder hit than I, I think he's actually stuck in it. He could be. I don't know. But uh, unfortunately for Logan Williams, I don't know if that's going to be enough as there wasn't too many wow factors. The scores are in. 2 7 five, seven, seven puts him at a 22 for the obsessed. Just one man left to knock off Sebet Osgin in the Scooby-Doo. And trade that one man is last week's winner, Nathan Stapleton in the Grave Digger. If he can pull off those same moves they did last week, he could possibly leave as a two-time event winner and the first winner in international to be the Monster Series. And he's going big over the pot to start the 90 seconds. Well, he knows what the, he's got to do. Uh, uh, for sure. I mean, he saw, you know, <laughs> Clifton just go out there and tear his truck into the ground and still not take the lead. So he knows he has to go big oh and he's going to the goodness. racing lane for a second hit. You know, even though we're over in Australia, these fans know what Grave Digger is and who he is, and uh, I still think it's probably the biggest truck here. Yeah, I would say so. Definitely the most, uh, the most popular truck here, no matter where we visit in the world. Grave Digger is going to be known, and this uh, it matches the uh, the track colors very well. It does. No, normally I'm the one to point that out, but you did it, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 pr I'm, pr I'm impressed. <laughs> well, uh, Stapleton is uh, tr trying to make sure maybe it doesn't match the colors anymore because he's probably going to try and tear the body off this thing before the end of it. He's into the second half of the run and more huge air for the Gravedigger. Bounces over the jammer and now 40 seconds left. Can he do enough of this run to take down Samet Osgin in the Scooby-Doo? Oh my goodness. Nice air off the jammer. Pulling it into a little bit of a wheelie. Now final 30 seconds for Stapleton. He needs wow factors though, trade. What he's doing right now might not be enough. Well, he's got to just start full throttling anything he hits. He's going off the back of the oh. MX Hill. Oh. Pass vertical. Lands nicely on the rear and back on all fours. Oh, he broke it. The halo, I think. I Looks think like it's hanging off. The halo is hanging off. They're going to let him keep going. He's into the final 10 seconds. Huge error. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Where'd the tires go? Oh my gosh. Where did the time? There's, There's one. one. There's the other. There's two. Holy, I've never seen a truck do that before. The rear end is no longer a rear end on that truck. Oh. I've never seen a truck do that before. My lord. <laughs> okay, anyways, look at this. This is what broke the halo, right? Yeah. Right there. Somehow it didn't break the body. I don't, I don't understand that one. <laughs> this next hit tray breaks a little bit more than the halo. Watch the tires. Watch, watch. They just turn into NASA. They, they yeah, turn they, into straight NASA. Yeah. It, it... Oh, my. Out of the shot. Goodness. Look how high they are. <laughs> I mean, so we, we talked about Eli Bright has probably broken the Gravedigger, like a Gravedigger truck the most in, run, in uh, one run. I think Nathan just topped him right there. Off one hit? Yeah, off of one <laughs> I don't think, Trey, it's going to be enough for the win. I have to agree, but that was absolutely insane. It was, and the scores are a 22. That will put him in 10th, which means Samet Osgin in the Scooby-Doo is the event winner here in Sydney, Australia. I, I, I don't know what to say from this event. 
<laughs> Look, uh, Scooby Doo had some amazing moments. Laura Chung did. Noah Clifton destroyed his truck. Chris Reynolds had a great run. Brandon Veal Hernandez, Luke Bowler, Evan Hunter. They all had such great runs. Then we go into the next page. You know, Williams was in the dumpsters down there. Nathan <laughs> tore his truck into the ground. Fitzwater was in the dumpsters. What a great event here in Australia. These fans got what they wanted here tonight. They they got absolutely everything they wanted. If they didn't like it, Joe, then. They need to go somewhere else. <laughs> they do. And as we look at the division standings, Samet Oskin now on top over Nathan Stimpton, Clifton in third. Down at the cut line, Evan Hunter and Luke Bowler are tied just above. Right below it, Brandon Beal and Anthony Hernandez. Fitzwater also below. So some big names down below after the conclusion of week number two. That's it for BMG Monster in week two. Join us next week for the red division, yellow division, and green division in week three.